it's Brie. Uh, welcome back to CampbellThreads.com. Obviously, you guys all know Joy. I am making her let me do her face today. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to do makeup for aging skin. I made her. <laughs> she, she, she's I making me say that. She I can't know. I feel so bad. She's afraid I'm going to punch her. I'm a chicken. <laughs> I am chicken. I'm so chicken. So we've had so many requests for this video on how to do makeup for imperfect skin. <laughs> yes. Mature. Yes, mature. <laughs> There's mature so is many a good word too. Great words. So I'm just, excuse my terminology uh, throughout the video because I am terrified that I'm going to offend anybody. So um, like I've said in the past, please make sure that you guys are following us on Instagram, you're liking us on Facebook, and you are subscribing to our YouTube and shopping our shoes. And we will go ahead and get started. I'm here, by the way. I just need to stay back here mm. so I can actually work. <laughs> On aging skin is what we're calling this I guess yeah, so if for... I say anything that offends anybody, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just smack her. So... Oh god, I need to turn that on silent. Okay, so you want to start out, I'm going to actually have you do this part. You want to prime your skin, that's super important just because primer really evens out the surface of your skin, it fills in any fine lines, and it just really smooths out um, the skin for the foundation to lay on it. So what we're going to do is start out with Joy's foundation, she uses the Too Faced Born this way, this is in the shade Sand. Um, what kind was that primer? Oh, this is, yeah, this is the e.l.f. mineralizing primer. It's my, just what I use all of the time. So I'm just going to take this pump and I'm going to stick it straight onto a stippling brush. This foundation is the heaviest I would recommend wearing just because it's super lightweight. And when you do have, oh my gosh, I'm so scared to talk, older skin. <laughs> It's all right. I, hey, we, people have been asking for this, Brie. You I know, feel bad though. <laughs> on imperfect skin, not you do have not look Brie's like, twenty-year-old skin over forty-five-ish. <sighs> well, so yeah, this is the heaviest foundation I would recommend because anything thicker than this, this is super lightweight foundation, but it does have really good full coverage. Um, anything heavier, it's going to kind of create like a mask on your face. And it's going to look really heavy. You want something that's going to be super natural. Um, tinted moisturizer is a really good option too. Joy has some that she really likes. What kind is it? Uh, Clinique. And I, I think there's a BB and a CC. And oh, I'll look. I brought it over. It's great for if you don't want to put on foundation. Okay, so instead of, I know in my videos, I put concealer right underneath my eye, um, and for older skin, you mm -hmm. want to drop it down just a little bit lower because typically, sm smile for me, so typically this is where the darkness is, right in here, so if you're starting up a little bit too high, it'll start to sink down and settle, so if you start right in this area, right in here, go ahead and smile again, and if you kind of look down, tilt your head down, you can see that this is where all of this darkness is. So that's what we're mainly trying to conceal. Oh my gosh, am I wording this okay? It's perfect. Okay, don't be mad at me. Hey, it is what it is. So... You're gonna make it look better. <laughs> so you're not really wanting to start right underneath the eye like I typically do. You wanna get right just a little bit lower. My verbiage makes me a little bit... <laughs> Oh, a little bit nervous. I'm, I'm with just, him punching right I know, now. I know. I'm just waiting for You're a saying. smack. Hey, right at any minute. taking one for the team here. For Same. all of us aging gals. Okay, but you have really good skin. Like, oh, you do. I'd like Get yours makeup. back. Well, let's just go back in time. If only, right? Yeah. So I am blending this up a little bit higher into underneath her eye. But I want majority of the product to sit right down in here. That way it's not piling up too high and settling. Here's my tinted moisturizer. If you Clinique CC cream and it's got SPF 30 spray show, but I'm going <laughs> to tell you. It's not my show. Well, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna contour Joy's face. 
So we're just gonna start with a little bit of cream contour. This is the Anastasia kit that I used last week. And so we're gonna start at the top of her ear. And we're just gonna draw a straight line down into her cheekbone. Okay, turn. There you go. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. And I really want to focus underneath her jawline too, just to kind of define everything. Give you a little lift that we all love. Wow. Can you already tell? No, but I'm digging <laughs> have it. Ever, have you ever done I've this before? I've never done this. Really? Or had this done. No, Ooh. never. Yeah, I know this stuff is the best. Can't wait to watch it and learn how to do this. Ooh, yeah. Should I tighten it up for you? No, no it's probably it. pulling. No, in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. So what this is gonna do is this is just gonna help make her cheekbones look like they're sitting up higher, and just kind of give her that really just what's the word I'm looking for? Like Younger. That, yeah. English. Sure. <laughs> that's why I I'm love sure that's it. contouring is because it's like a facelift without the surgery. Like, I can literally snatch my nose and make it look like I got a nose job. Wow. Can you come over every day and <laughs> fix me up? I mean, yeah. I don't need it. No, you don't. It's going to be great. Okay. So, yeah. So, you can see just from that little bit of highlighting and contouring that um, her face looks a lot more lifted. She has more of, like... A structure right in her cheekbones so and that's all with creams too and you can do it with powders but personally here we go on older skin <laughs> mature skin I think so much more comfortable with that word no I'm really not <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out um, it just kind of blends out a lot better and it doesn't look as chalky as um, what powder would and then we're just going to go over all of that with a setting powder. So you want to be a little, um, I guess, frugal? Is that a good word? With your setting powder? Um, I like to typically do it all on the areas where you're going to be sweating the most or wearing off. If you go all over your skin, um, powder does make creams set and uh, solidify. So if I were to go straight underneath her eye, everything in... Um, underneath her eye and any creases or anything that's gonna get hard and you're gonna be able to see all of those fine lines so what I do like to do though is just to kind of get rid of any shine or anything like that I just kind of dust over the t-zone right on her chin upper lip the sides of the face and down the nose just because I know a lot of women struggle with underneath the eye and then if you're setting any of those creams, you're going to be able to see all of the uh, liquid settling into those fine lines. So. Do you like, like, just a translucent powder? Yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, we're using the, ah, the NYX translucent powder. You can use a color if you want. I always like to go with translucent powders just because I usually am always typically working with colored creams. She already has really good shape to her brows, so she doesn't need much. Do you just kind of fill them in mm -hmm. instead of reshape them? I don't really know, but I do. Probably not the right thing. But oh, hush. It's just uh, give you some color. Yes. Bad. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show a good way to make your eyes seem bigger and brighter. So we're gonna go in with, oh sweet, you can see it. This tan shade right in here. Which is called, this one? <laughs> is it? Faint. Faint. Oh no, it's Silk Cream. Okay. It's the opposite. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. That is, that's confusing. That's confusing, but okay. yeah. Okay. So this is Silk Cream, and so I'm just gonna dust this all over her lid. And you don't want to go any farther than outside of the outer, the outer crease because if you extend eyeshadow too, too far, it's going to make your eyes seem saggy, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So 
so we'll keep it all on the lid. Is it true as you age you should stay away from um, glistening eyeshadows? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, just because um, not everybody, but I've noticed that a lot of people do seem to start to develop like a little bit of hooded eyes. Mm -hmm. And so if you're using too much, it'll stick to, you know, creases and fine lines and really make your eyes appear older than they actually are. So you want to stay away from those. And if you are going to use any illuminators or anything, you want it to be right in the inner corner and right under the brow because that's what's really going to brighten everything up. I'm going to go in with this a little bit darker of a shade and I'm just going to dust it. Raise your brows for me. There you go. I'm going to dust it right into her crease. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. I'm just staying in mid-eye. And that's it. Turn a little bit more. There you go. And then just to brighten up everything and make everything seem more awake, I'm going to go in with this shimmer shade. It's called In Light. And this is where I'm going to stick this right in her tear ducts. Mm, straight. Open. So we'll just keep this right on the inner corner of her eye. Brighten those up. And then just a little bit under the brow bone. Yeah, and so Joy already has her eyeliner tattooed on, which makes my job so much easier. But uh, I do not recommend liquid eyeliner for older skin, just because it does tend to run. And... Um, whenever the eyes are closed, it's not the actual shape of the eye. So say I put eyeliner on her right now and her eyes are closed. When she opens up her eye, it's going to be really um, jagged and kind of, it does, it just runs. It's not, I don't know, I'm trying, how, do, how do I explain this without offending? <laughs> Well, you know, we get it. It's just, it would, yeah. it would show within it would, yeah, the skin it'll, it as it shows, creeps. Exactly. It shows more of imperfections. Yeah. So when you are doing eyeliner, I would recommend a pencil or even a shadow, like a dark eyeshadow, and just run it across the lash line, and that'll still give you the look of eyeliner, but not runny and just... And mm. should you do less? Or? I, yeah, so... I would always recommend doing eyeliner just on the top. If you like eyeliner down on the bottom, I would do a darker brown eyeshadow just because it's really going to close in your eyes if you're doing eyeliner on top and on bottom, which you don't want to look like a raccoon or like you're asleep. And that's for anybody. That's young, old, middle-aged, everybody. Okay, so we're just going to give her a little bit of color. We're going to do right on the apples of her cheeks. There you go. I know you don't like this, but you gotta face the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want to do is just scoot back. Why? Trust me, when you get no, to be look how good you look. You'll say, "Scoot back." Camera's too close. No, you look so good. <laughs> I swear, if I don't look like you <laughs> when I'm married, I'm gonna be so mad. Well, thanks, Bree. I knew this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do lips, and a cool little trick I want to show you guys Ooh. that. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. It's okay. So we'll just line the lips. You always, always, always want to line your lips, no matter what your age is, because it will run no matter what. And it just kind of helps keep everything stay in place. Open your mouth just a little bit. There you go. I know it's weird. I always make my clients do these like crazy things, and they're like, um, can you not? <laughs> okay. You okay? Don't be funny, me. I'm not funny. So, we'll fill in the entire lip. Okay. 
because that's going to help everything stick to the lip liner and it just kind of evens out the surface of your lips and then before we put any lip color on or anything like that i'm going to set it with a little bit of translucent powder because like i said when you're setting creams it kind of makes everything solidify. Stop getting so far away. <laughs> it makes everything solidify. So whenever you're doing this on the lips, it's really going to lock that lip liner in place. Close your eyes. Not your eyes. My bad. <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> it's going to really lock that lip liner in place to where your makeup, or not your makeup, your lipstick won't run at all. Just with translucent uh -huh. powder. Just with translucent powder. She's so smart. And then you'll so, just cover. Just shake the lip scents. We should probably just use regular. I never, I have not you used know, lip scents uh, ever. Do you feel better now that you're. <laughs> Thank you. Now that you're allowed to be farther away. Oh, yeah, that's looking better. Look how lucky you look. Thank you. No, it's really, great. though. Thanks for picking So, me up. this is the finished look. I'm sorry, like I said multiple times in the video, my terminology might not have been the best. Hey, it is what it is. Sorry. <laughs> but this is just, you know, these are the best ways to do makeup for, I'm going to let you say it. Aging skin. <laughs> Aging so skin. Bad. Beautiful skin. No, she really Love does the have. the skin you're in. Yeah. No, really. Right? You do. You have really good skin. So these are just some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years when I am working with mature Mature is good mature. word. <laughs> yeah. Mature skin. Um, so like I've said in the past, if you have any questions about makeup in general, shoot me an email at lulu at camelthreads.com or you can DM us on Facebook and Instagram. And I will see you guys next week. Stop our shoes.